Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my performance review of the Brand Black Rare Metal 2. So this shoe is pretty damn expensive, it's coming in at 250 bucks. Uh, so if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box, but let's get it started off with the Tractiones. So as far as the actual pattern goes, we have a whole bunch of X's going throughout the entire outsole. And how is the bite? The bite is really, really good. If you're playing on a clean court, uh, you're gonna be good to go. I mean, the bite is insane. You have a very, very nice stop. And also you have a very nice squeak as well, a very high pitched squeak. Dust on the other hand though, there is a little bit of an issue on dust for this shoe. So it picks up dust pretty fast, but also it is a very light wipe. So I would say around like every two to three plays, you have to wipe, but like I said, you're just, it's a very, very light wipe. So you just go like this once or twice and you're good to go you know some shoes when they pick up dust you got to like really like wipe it down it's just really annoying this shoe doesn't have that problem it's just a very light wipe so that's good as far as the durability goes I feel like durability should be okay I mean they are using the Vibram outsoles which is known for durability right but feeling from the actual rubber it, okay so like in the middle of the X it feels pretty damn good right it's a thick kind of like nub but then like on the edges of the X the rubber is obviously pretty damn soft because it is a thin rubber so i feel like durability should be okay in this shoe so my overall experience for the traction is pretty damn nice you know i wouldn't say it's top top tier but it's very solid all right moving on to the heel to toe transition so when i first saw this i was like yo it's like super cage you got a whole lot of rubber and stuff like that i feel like it looks like it's gonna be clunky you know what i mean it looks kind of like a boot and stuff like that but then like uh, when you feel this rubber like cage it's not that thick and it's also not that hard. So just pressing it with my fingers, there is a good amount of compression. So here in the heel, we have an, a little bit of a rounded shape as well as that little compression like I just mentioned. So it doesn't feel like clunky or anything in the heel at all. And here in the forefoot, we have a nice curved shape as well. And look at that, you know, a very flexible forefoot as well. So when you're running down the court, it feels smooth and pretty fluid. All right, moving on to the cushioning setup. So we have full length super critical jet lawn. So that's a pretty cool name, super critical jet lawn, I guess, right? <laughs> so as far as the actual feel goes, feels pretty damn soft. Like I said, you know, just pressing with my finger. Um, but you are really low to the ground, like very low to the ground. I love how good the court feel is in this shoe. So of course, there's not a whole lot of compression from this midsole because it is pretty caged, uh, but you can feel a little bit of compression in the midsole. The step in comfort is also pretty damn nice, right? So for the insole, the, uh, it's not super nice. There's not a whole lot of foam to it, but uh, feeling the actual like strobe board, there is a little bit of give. So that does improve the step in comfort. So when you're playing, you feel a little bit of compression. Uh, there's not a whole lot of bounce or anything like that. I would say it's mostly a responsive feeling cushion with a little bit of compression right underneath your foot. And as far as the impact protection goes, I would say it's a really good impact protection for how low to the ground you are, right? Uh, so overall, I would say impact protection is like adequate, you know, not the best, but for how low to the ground you are, it has really good impact protection. So I really like the cushioning setup. You know, if you want something responsive, that's very, very low to the ground with adequate impact protection and also pretty good step in comfort, this is a very nice option. Just don't expect something crazy with a whole lot of bounce or a whole lot of compression or something like that. So as far as the materials go, we have a military grade monofilament ripstop upper. And also here in the forefoot, we got a four layered fuse material. And um, I mean fuse, so if you're gonna fuse a material, you have to like glue it, right? So uh, it feels pretty glued down now. It is like broken and it got a little bit softer as well. Um, but I don't know if you guys can hear it, like that's the material making that sound, right? Right, so it still feels a little stiff. I mean, it's extremely supportive, right? There's absolutely zero stretch to it, which feels nice. But in my personal preference, I feel like I would have liked it a little bit better if the material was softer, right? Uh, but one good thing is that, you know, this material is extremely thin, right? So here in the toe box, I mean, it conforms to your foot pretty well. I mean, when I was first playing in it, you know, uh, the material would dig into the top of my toes a little bit because it is a stiff material. Uh, but once I broke it in and stuff like that, it got, it definitely got softer. And then coming here into the midfoot, you know, it stays extremely thin. And then as far as the tongue goes, I actually like the tongue. You know, the tongue is, it's like a foam material with holes in it. It has a little 
little bit of stretch so that feels nice you know kind of like stretches over your foot it is a half booty construction tongue and as far as the lining goes we have like a, a mesh material and a uh, very very minimal padding as well so uh this material is extremely thin and very very supportive i just wish it was a little bit softer all right moving on to the fit uh, i went up half a size because they didn't have my size uh, and actually fits me pretty well I mean, obviously there is a little bit of length, but the toe box is actually kind of snug. Width-wise, I would say it's still like kind of snug as well. So probably around normal width to slightly narrow. So if I were true to size, I feel like this shoe would fit my foot really, really well, very, like pretty much perfectly, right? And of course, like the original Rare Metal, that shoe fit my foot like a glove. So if you have a wide foot or you like to have a roomier fit, I'll probably suggest going up half a size or maybe even a full size because this shoe, I feel like uh, fits really, really snug. Also, this shoe is really easy to put on. I mean, it's not a super high heel tab, but I didn't really have any issues with uh, putting my foot into the shoe either. Uh, also, uh, if you want to improve the fit uh, or like, I guess, like lock down a little bit, you can always put the laces through these eyelets that are kind of like on the side of the shoe to get a little bit more lockdown as well as a little bit more of a customized fit tailored to your liking. All right, as far as the support and lockdown goes, this shoe is insane, right? So like I mentioned, this material is very, very supportive. You know, it's a stiff material. And also we have this rubber outsole kind of like wrapping around the shoe. And also we have another layer of fuse around, pretty much going around the perimeter of the entire shoe, as you guys can see. So for lateral containment, as you guys can see on the lateral side, the rubber outsole comes up a lot. I mean, it's not super stiff. You know, it's not a crazy hard rubber or anything, but then it's definitely containing you, right? So lateral containment, I mean, throughout this entire side, uh, you're gonna be good to go. There also is, no, there's actually no internal TPU heel counter, but you don't really need one. You're getting a whole lot of support from the upper as well as this wrapped rubber outsole. So uh, yeah, lateral containment, I had zero issues with. Lateral stability also is really good. You know, it's a very wide and flat base. So I had no issues with uh, feeling unstable or anything or kind of like rolling my ankle. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. This shoe feels extremely light. So I'm guessing like 10, yeah, so 10.62 ounces. And then the left pair is 10.58 ounces. So uh, pretty much the same exact weight for the left and right pair. And you know, of course that speaks for the quality control of the shoe. And yeah, this shoe feels really, really light and very, very minimal. The Rare Metal 2 has very minimal padding. Also, you feel extremely lightweight. So I feel like this shoe does a really good job of blending support, responsiveness, and also just how light and minimal this shoe feels on foot, right? Uh, of course, I, I wish the material was a little bit softer, but like I said, it's not a huge deal. It breaks in pretty nicely. So yeah, I mean, it feels very lightweight. It feels really responsive, right? The traction is good. Uh, the cushion is responsive. You have really good support. I feel like it, it, the support is gonna be good for everyone. Like no matter how big you are, no matter what position you play, this shoe is gonna be supportive enough for that. So yeah, I like how they combine all of that into this really extremely lightweight package. All right, as far as the ventilation goes, ventilation is pretty bad. You know, like I said, this material is glued down, so there's really no airflow. So it does get a little warm in the shoe. I mean, it's not super hot, but you know, I wish it was a little bit cooler. All right, moving on to the aesthetics. This shoe looks great. You know, I absolutely love this colorway. And here in the toe box, I love how when you like, I'll put it into the light it kind of like shines a different color that looks really cool and i definitely wear this shoe off court as well you know i actually got a good amount of compliments from my friends they're like oh this shoe looks dope and i'm like yeah it's actually a ball shoe and they're like really that's pretty interesting you know so so i mean it is versatile you can play with it on court it performs very well and also rock it off court right so uh tell us what you guys think of these settings down in the comment section below so wrapping things up 250 bucks is it worth it? I mean, I feel like no shoe is worth 250 bucks for basketball, right? Uh, that's pretty expensive and you can get really good performers for cheaper. But of course, if you're a baller, you got that cash and you want a nice shoe, you want a really good performing shoe, the Rare Metal 2 is a great option. And also when you get the shoe in hand, uh, you definitely feel the quality, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel cheaply made. It feels very well put together and all that. So you definitely feel the quality of the shoe and also the craftsmanship. 
So ultimately, I mean, if you want to spend the 250 bucks, that's up to you. I'm just saying this shoe is a very good performer. I really had no issues with it. There's just one tiny thing I would change about the shoe, and that's just the material here in the toe box. I just wish it was a little bit softer. And that's pretty much it. You know, the cushion's nice, the traction's nice, the fit and support and all that. Uh, and also the weight, the weight. I mean, I, I wish you guys can feel how light the shoe feels, right? And also I feel like all positions and all play styles uh, would enjoy the shoe as well. Like I said, support is maximum. <laughs> you get crazy support from this shoe, but also it's a very responsive shoe with a very low to the ground feel and good traction. So it'll be good for guards and also it'll be good for uh, larger guys as well. So anyways, that about concludes my review. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.